months, another week, another special video. Because today I have for you this amazing meat cleaver by a legendary knife maker, Bill Page from USA, Alabama. And today we're gonna test his meat cleaver for many techniques in forest. But first, the specifications. So, let's get started. All right, guys, so check this beauty. It's a really amazing piece of work. First, you're gonna see this letter sheet. Here's the initials, BP and the dragon. The logo maybe from the build page. And look at that, guys. It's really amazing. Uh, you have also the letter on the handles, the scale, and I think that would be brass rivets. The grip, it's totally awesome. And now I'm gonna read the specification from Bill. So the cleaver dimensions, the length, it's 14 inches, that's 35 centimeters. Width, it's four inches, that's, uh, that's 10 centimeters. Blade length, it's 8.5 inches, 21 centimeters. Handle length, it's 5.5 inches, 14 centimeters. Thickness, it's 3 inch, nearly 5 millimeters. And I weighed it today and it was nearly 600 grams. So that's really good piece of steel and you can be sure that it's going to punch big energy into the target. We actually baptized in the Sherwood Forest in England with my friend Jack Dagger, Tracy Trenny and Richard Loxton. It was so much fun guys and I am sure today you're gonna have it as well because this thing it's total beast. But enough of talking. Now it's time for the first technique and it's gonna be the full spin. So let's do it. All right, guys, for the full spin, the handshake grip, like always, you're gonna aim, pull back and let it slide. Like you are used to with a tomahawk or with a classic knives. It works totally same with a meat cleaver. So check it out. Ooh, perfect stick right away. Wow really amazing and you can be sure you're gonna do it every single time perfect and nearly every time same place as well wow and also guys the meat cleaver have the false edge but i can be sure that you could cut it something with it pretty easily so maybe you can try it as well let's change the angle yeah. wow <clears throat> the penetration is totally insane wow Now the angle behind me, so you can see the release. And also guys, let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about this beast? It's really crazy how it sticks into the target and it's so easily. And uh, you don't have to put so much power at all guys. Really just let it slide. Aim, pull back, let it slide. So one more last throw and we're gonna switch the technique. Believe it or not, but even with this meat cleaver, you can throw a house pin. Here is the grip and always be careful to not pinch yourself with this nasty tip. I would uh, try this technique with more advanced uh, throwers, but it's pretty easy actually. Always the same technique. So one more time. 
Wow. Really crazy. Let's see if I can throw the house pin from three different distances. Close. Medium. Now a little bit longer. Wow! All right, house spin, the grip last time. Easy release. Really great work, Bill. I totally love it. Highly recommend it, guys. It sticks like a crazy. So, last throw, and we're gonna try my favorite. Yeah, guys, you are guessing definitely right. Now it's time for the nose spin. And with this meat cleaver, it's definitely possible and actually super cool. So the grip, you can use like this on the top of the cleaver, or you can turn it upside down and use it like that. I found this grip actually a little bit more comfortable and easier for longer distances. But I can show you both ways. So first this one, close distance. Very, very cool and easy. Now I can, like I said, upside down. Same powerful stick. And again, like that. And we change the angle. All right, guys, so now when I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna change my distance like before. So let's start close. Wow. The meat cleaver always stick with crazy authority. I love it. Now like a four. Ooh. <laughs> totally on the side of the target. Let's do like a five. Wow. Okay, few last no spin throws and I'm gonna be changing the grips so you can see. I found a really cool target by the way. What do you think guys? Now the opposite grip. Wow. But personally I think this grip upside down works a little bit better with this cleaver, but you can take it from Bill, check his website and you can let me know after what works better for you. So last throw and I have one more thing guys. What I definitely have to show you guys and it's one of my favorite things to do with this meat cleaver. It's underhand throwing, full spin and no spin. For the full spin, you're gonna grab it like this with the ice pick grip and for the no spin like that, like we had before. It's really easy and I'm going to show you both ways. For the full spin, you have to figure it out your optimal distance from the target and for the no spin, you don't have to. So it's up to you. First, full spin first. I think about here maybe. Not a bad stick, but could be in a little bit further back. And now I'm going to show you the nose spin. So like that, guys. And it little reminds the bowling. If you are playing bowling, maybe you have advantage. So check it out. Easy slide. It was not the best stick. One more time. But very gently. Check it out. Boom. Really like with the bowling movement. It's so easy. Aim, pull back, let it slide. A little bit better. Also the advantage of underhand nose spin compared to full spin. I can do it from really close distance. Because with the full spin, if I wanted to do it like here, I would have really problem to stick it to my target. So that was a little comparison. The full spin from here. Again, not the best rotation, so one step back. 
Now we should have better stick. There you go. So last time, underhand full spin. This one was best, I think, so far. Now the classic underhand. Wow! And let's finish it with a underhand full spin. Wow, we got it. All right, guys, today you was able to see many techniques with this amazing meat cleaver. But of course, you can do much more things with it. So if you want the same one, link on the build page will be in the description below. And you guys let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this beast. But for today, that's it. So thank you one for watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.